Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is February the 6th of 2024 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord this morning. Before I begin, I just want to give you the heads up there may be some background noise in this video, and I apologize for that ahead of time. Once again, I would like to thank those of you who have been leaving comments to these videos. I thank you for your words of encouragement toward me as well as your response of thanksgiving unto the Lord for His love and encouragement toward us all. And on that note, this word today is titled, A Word of Encouragement to the Bride. I hope this word will bless you as you hear it. I'll begin by reading scripture. Psalm 147 verse 11. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. This scripture verse is straightforward. The Lord is pleased when we submit ourselves to his great love for us. Psalm 37 verse 23. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. This scripture verse tells us that the Lord establishes those who delight in him. I'll begin reading this word. Rest in me, abide in me, come under the protection of my wing, says the Lord, for I am moving forth in this day to capture the hearts of the people. I am wooing my bride unto myself. I am drawing her into intimacy with me. She will no longer chase after other gods. She will no longer give her affections to others. She will no longer commit adultery with the world, but she will become faithful to her husband, who is the Lord. Her eyes will be for him only, and she will not be swayed by the charms of others. I am putting great discernment into her, and she will be able to recognize the tactics of the tempter when he comes to woo her away from me, says the Lord. Dance before me, delight yourself in me, captive daughter of Zion. I am your shield and your buckler, your fortress, your protector. You are safe in my arms of love. Darts thrown at you cannot touch you, for you are hemmed in on all sides by the power of my love. Rest in me, my love, Delight yourself in me. I find you lovely in my sight. I receive your gift of love unto me, your continual admiration and offering of praise. I delight myself in you, in your love. You will be with me in paradise. We shall be together forever. You will see how pleased I am with your sacrifice of love toward me. You will see how delighted I am with your choice to please me at all costs. You will see how I remove from your path everything that would cause you to stumble. For I have chosen you for my own. I have crowned you with my glory, and you shall wear it wherever you go. Give glory to the King of Kings, for he has triumphed over every enemy. Every enemy is under his feet. Every dry valley is being watered and brought to bear fruit of a well-watered garden. Every desolation is being raised up in this day to bear fruit 
for the kingdom of God and every area that had been destroyed by the enemy is being repaired says the Lord. Every disappointment will flee. Every hardness of heart will be ground up ready for the planting of the Lord. Glory, honor, and power belong to the Lord. Righteousness and peace are His to give to those who long for Him. He is the glory and the lifter of your head. In him is life and liberty. This word today is quite short, and it is a word of encouragement from the Lord to those who love him. He is expressing his delight for his bride and his pleasure with her faithfulness toward him. The Lord longs for an intimate relationship with his people. He is prepping us to live with him forever. He is the bridegroom. We are the bride. And we will be intimately united with him. In this word, the Lord is speaking of the benefits that are ours when we delight ourselves in the Lord. We receive his protection and he causes us to bear fruit for his kingdom. His peace and righteousness are upon us. All disappointment will flee as the Lord restores those things back to us that the enemy has stolen. The Lord is encouraging us to delight ourselves in Him because He delights in us. I hope this word speaks to you today. The Lord is sharing His heart with us. His love for us is unfailing. May we respond to it with our love for Him. I hope this word today has blessed and encouraged you. Thank you for listening. Have a great afternoon. And we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.